Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, finally got my computer fixed. And it's able to able to charge um, and stay charged. So pretty happy about that. No Scooby, you're fine. All right, so welcome back, TG13 Fantasy Football. We're getting there. We are a little over a week away from uh, the NFL draft. Uh, the Jags have the first overall pick. Big Jaguars fan. Uh, we're going to mess it up somehow. Can't wait. Um, other than that, we're going to start getting into fantasy football again. And I'm excited. I have my whole whole get up. I got my, got my headset. My computer's fixed. Uh, I got my webcam working. And my dog's walking around like crazy because that's just what he does. He'll start barking here before long. No, I see you. You're fine. You, you don't get to play fantasy football. Just kidding. Um, okay, so what happened last year? Last year, uh, my team sucked. I have the second overall pick in this next year's draft. I'm trying to think of who won. A did one. Congratulations. A did for winning the championship. Uh, yeah, good job. Happy for him. So, today, we are going to talk about the draft and some of the draft uh, stories. What's going, what could happen this, you know, this next week. And the big one is Baker Mayfield. And Baker's going somewhere. He's, you've already seen today. No, you're fine. Stop. You've already seen today um, in the news that, you know, he he didn't go to practice. I mean, that's, they don't want this negativity. You already have Deshaun Watson, and there's – you lost a lot of people doing that. Um, it is what it is. You brought Deshaun in. Baker, Baker doesn't want to be there. I'm just going to talk football. Um, but Baker doesn't want to be there. I think Baker – could easily end up in Seattle. Uh, you know, you sit there and you look at uh, you look at uh, Ca Carolina. Uh, they don't really have a quarterback, and then you look at Seattle. They don't really have anything. Atlanta. I know they brought in Marcus Mariota, but he's if he's a starter this year, that's fine. He won't be the starter there next year. Um, Relax, dude. Go lay down. Go lay down. Stop. You're interrupting me. Anyways, like I said, he's going to be walking around the whole time. He hears me talking. And uh, so, yeah, like I was saying, Baker's going somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and say he's either going to Seattle or Carolina. If I was Seattle, I'm jumping all over that. You're waiting right before the draft. You're waiting, you know, an hour before the draft to make a move. You have Lockett, you have DK, you're not going to waste a year with them, and DK's rookie contract is almost up. You're going to have to pay him. You're going to try to win. You're not going to just, you know, let it, play him this year with, who's he got, Geno Smith, and then next year he goes somewhere else. So, that's not going to happen. He's not going to let that happen. So, or Pete Carroll's not going to let that happen. I really think Baker Mayfield will be traded to Seattle before the draft. It could be on draft night, but it'll be it'll be before the draft. So today we're going to look at uh, you know r r fantasy football, the rookies. You know what what could or which rookies could affect these teams, um, and what. How do I want to put this? The what rookies? What would be the best spot for these rookies? You know, you got Garrett Wilson, who I think could go to Atlanta. I haven't even looked at this. This is CBS. Their seven round mock. I haven't even looked at that. But if I'm Atlanta, I am picking a wide receiver at number eight. You have nobody to throw to. You have Kyle Pitts, and you know, two years ago, you sitting there. You have Julio and, and Calvin Ridley. And you don't have either one of them anymore. Um, you need somebody. 
So you, you have Kyle Pitts. You're grabbing a wide receiver at number eight. So, again, I haven't seen what they have projected. If I'm Atlanta, that's what I'm doing. You're not getting a quarterback. Might as well suck, but at least you have something to build off of, you know, instead of drafting, like, a defensive tackle or a safety. You got something for a quarterback going into next year. So what I'm going to do is start here at the top with the Jaguars. And I don't think they're taking a tackle. And I don't if they were, I don't think it's icky. But, hey, it is what it is. So I'm going to start here in round one. Uh, pick number one, they have Jacksonville taking a tackle. That's big for Trevor Lawrence and James Robinson. ETN, you know, they spent a lot of money on wide receivers in the offseason. It's not as crazy as people keep making it out to be. There's a lot of bonuses, you know, in, in Christian Kirk's contract. And and I could see um, Ingram being pushed out to wide receiver a little bit. But their wide receivers are fine. They're not obviously drafting a wide receiver at number one. But a tackle is big. That really helps the offensive line. Now, does it help the team? You know, I would rather have an edge there, but again, this is fancy football, so tackle. That really helps out Trevor uh, Trevor Lawrence. You have Cam Robinson on one side, Jawan Taylor on the other side. You still have Walker a little, and I honestly believe that he'll start over Jawan Taylor. I know he's never started on the right side of the ball before, but Jawan Taylor is not good, um, unless he takes a massive leap this year. The guy, he's always out of position, doesn't have the strength. Um he, oh, penalties, always having penalties. So, Icky would be a good pick. Put him on the right side, or even a guard. You can only move him into guard, but that would be big for them. Um, so, yeah, fantasy football-wise, you're looking. Trevor's going to have more time in the pocket. Uh, you have Christian Kirk, playmaker. You know, that could help out Christian Kirk. That could help out Evan Ingram. Uh, again, I think Evan Ingram's going to play some wide receiver this year. And that could definitely help out them. Uh, ETN, you get him on the outside. You get him on the screen plays. That'll help boost him up a little bit. Uh, James Robinson, he's not the fastest. He's, he's got the injury. I don't know. With that Achilles, you know, he wasn't fast to begin with. I don't know, fantasy-wise, what's going to happen there. Um, but this, again, will help out Trevor Lawrence a huge amount. All right, so edge, not really going to talk about that. Defensive line, not going to talk about that. Edge. Offensive line. Um, oh, I just ruined Carolina, so I'm going to scroll back up. All right, so you look at the Giants and Evan Neal, who I think is the best player in this draft. Um, that's my opinion. But I think Evan Neal would help that team tremendously. Uh, you know, you have, um, wow, I almost called him Barber. Uh, yes, Saquon Barkley, running back. He's had some injuries. Their offensive line's been trash uh, the last couple of years. Evan Neal, that would be a huge pickup. You have Daniel Jones there. Not a very good quarterback, but, I mean, that could help him. That could get some time in the pocket. And I know most people just look at, like, what running backs and what wide receivers and tight ends and quarterbacks where they're going. But you got to look at the offensive line as well. And I think Evan Neal to the Giants, that would help a lot. That would help Saquon. Uh, you know, you had those, those teams out there that are trying to get – Try to get rid of Saquon, um, you know, trying to get him on the cheap. If they get Evan Neal, I mean, you could – I would go out and try to get him. I would trade somebody for him. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head who has Saquon in our league, but I would trade for him if they get Evan Neal. That just helps the offensive, offensive line tremendously. Next up, you have the Panthers taking Charles Cross. That, again, helps out Christian McCaffrey a lot. Um, they don't really have much to, on their team. Again, yeah, I really wish they would just trade Christian McCaffrey and just start from scratch because outside of him, there's not much on this team to really even get fantasy-wise. Yes, Charles Cross, if you're looking uh, long-term, football plan would be a great move. Not getting a quarterback. I, don't, I keep seeing people projecting a rookie quarterback to Carolina. And I, I haven't figured that one out because they're such a bad team and they don't have the picks to, let's say you get Malik Willis here, but he wins, let's say five or six games next year. You don't have the team around him that could get him anywhere. And if you only win five or six 
you know, games, your coach is getting fired. You're starting from scratch all over again. And then that coach is, you know, do I want my own player? Are they in play to get one of the top quarterbacks next year, C.J. Stroud, um, anybody like that? So I think Charles Cross would be the right move. I don't think their head coach is going to last much longer. And I can't even think of their head coach off the top of my head. It's been a while since I've done this. Whew. Got to start from scratch all over again. It's been crazy. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So... Getting a tackle here, I think long term football wise is very smart. You know, try to trade trade Christian McCaffrey in the off season and try to get some picks. Start from scratch, but at least this is a good um, block to start with and and move on from there. Next up, Giants Armand Gardner. That'd be awesome. That'd be two good picks for them. See right here. I hadn't even looked at it yet. Garrett Wilson. And I don't know why people aren't saying that more. There will be a wide receiver that goes in the top ten. In my opinion, I think Garrett Wilson is the best wide receiver in the league. Or not in the league, as a rookie. The best rookie wide receiver prospect. Um <clears throat> Atlanta, they need they need somebody. Let's see what they say. Uh Marcus Mariota. And Atlanta may need to target several wideouts in this draft to restock a depleted unit. Yeah, you think? There's nothing there. Uh, is Zacchaeus still there? I, I don't remember. Um, so, yeah, Garrett Wilson. And that's what I've been saying. If Garrett Wilson goes there in a dynasty, oh, he'd be so high up there. Because they're getting a quarterback next year. Uh, uh, sorry, I heard a noise. Mar Mariota. Mariota will not be the quarterback there next year. So they're getting a quarterback. They're going to get one of those top quarterbacks. And then you're going to have Kyle Pitts, and you're going to have Garrett Wilson. In a dynasty league, I would love that. So we only play in a half dynasty league. We get five players. And I would draft Garrett Wilson just knowing, hey, a couple years down the road, I got him. Uh, anyways, that would be huge. Him and Kyle Pitts. I'm not a fan of Mariota. 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 But... I'm just going to call him Marcus. Marcus. I'm not a fan. Of, I don't like, I don't dislike him as a human, but fancy what, or football wise, no, not very good. Um, so yeah, Gary Wilson, Malik Willis. And this is what I was talking about with the, with the Seahawks. I think if you do that, you're wasting DK Metcalf. Ooh, sorry. I had a ham sandwich for dinner and I had some juice. Anyways, you are taking a huge downgrade. Now, I like Malik Willis. I think he's the best quarterback in the draft. I don't think Baker Mayfield is that bad. I think he got he got a bad straw in Cleveland. He's a. I'm not saying he's Aaron Rodgers. I'm saying he's Tony Romo. Good, but not great. Yeah. I, I like that. He's he's not going to... He could win a Super Bowl, but it's going to take a lot. And yes, I know Cleveland's been good, but it, if they don't win this year, does that go back to Stefanski? Or it was that all on Baker? So... I think the Seahawks will trade for Baker. CBS obviously has Malik Willis going there. You look at DK. I'm going to get off of my Baker Mayfield tangent. You look at DK. You got Malik Willis. That's a huge downgrade from Russell. Uh, DK is falling down the draft boards. You don't really have any running backs. Your wide receiver. DK, Tyler Lockett. And I don't even know who their tight end is anymore. It's not... Let me look this up. Actually, I'll just look it up on here. Since you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, Seattle. Freddie Swain. I forgot about that. All right, so you look at their stuff, and so you got DK, Tyler Lockett, Freddie Swain, and then you're looking at running backs. Chris Carson, really? 
I love Chris Carson, but didn't he just have a neck injury last year? Hasn't been 100% for a while. Rashad Penny, I know he had a big end of the year last year, but still. He's just a first overall or a first round pick that just never panned out. DJ Dallas. I mean, that's what you're looking at. Tight end. Noah Fant. Ooh, I do like Noah. I think Noah's good. Will Disley. All right, so they got some tight ends. Uh, then you got Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf. I, in my opinion, they're not wasting this pick. I'm Malik Willis. But if they do, it could be worse, I guess. I guess it could be like Atlanta. Um, but they're all taking big steps down. I'm not a fan of that pick at all. Drake London. I do like that pick. That would be big. Zach Wilson, I know, is a... So last year, when the Jets lost the number one overall pick, and the Jags ended up getting it, and they took Trevor, there was a lot of beef going back and forth between the Jets and the Jaguars. And it made me a little salty towards the Jet fans. I've always liked the Jets until then. Um, but that would be a really good pick. You got Zach Wilson. Let's look at the rest of their team. Michael Carter Jr. I always like Mims. I think Mims is a good wide right receiver. If they cut him, I would love to pick them up. Now give me the depth chart. Later. Depth chart. Oh, come on. See, all this stuff is so much better. Seriously, I can't get anything. There we go. I can just look up teams from here, huh? Huh, that'd be nice. All right, Corey Davis, get off my stuff, dude. You're getting free promo ad. Get off of here. All right, Corey Davis. I like Corey Davis. Elijah Moore, good. Braxton Berrios, eh. Denzel Mims. I'm a huge fan of Denzel Mims. I, like I said, I would love for him, for the Jets to cut him. I think you know he's ready to shine at some point. At some point. Um, and then you got Zach Wilson and Michael Carter, Tevin Coleman, Ty Johnson. Eh. All right, so you pick up Drake London. Look at that. You have Corey Davis, Elijah Moore. Eh. Braxton Barrios, I guess, at slot. But you're putting Drake London in there. And they just help him out a lot. Way better than what the Jaguars have done. But I like that. He's young. You're with a young quarterback. You get to grow together. We've seen that before. How much, how like, how big of a thing that is. 6'4", 219. I mean, come on. I would love that pick for fantasy was. Derek Stingley. Kyle Hamilton. Jamison Williams. I've, I've been doing this a lot lately, too. I've been putting a wide receiver to the Texans because they don't really have anybody. They have to throw the ball. I mean, they're not just going to run it 50 times a game. Uh, AFC South. Houston. Look at this. Brandon Cooks. Nico Collins is good, I guess. We got Brandon Cooks, and that's it. Chris Conley couldn't cut it in Jags. Philip Dorsett, no. Jalen Camp, no. Half of these dudes play for the Jags. You got Tunsil. You got Titus Howard. AJ, that sucks. They're right in. Uh, <laughs> right card's getting ready to get smashed. Justin Britt, they have a, not a good line. They're going to be throwing the ball. This is your er, running backs. Marlon Mack, Rex Burkhead, Agumbawale. Agumba, ba, wow, I just butchered that. Agumbawale. Wow, that was that was not hard to say. And Royce Freeman. They're going to be throwing the ball. I know that they like uh, Davis Mills. I was listening to a podcast the other day, and they're like, why does this dude have two last names? Anyways, they're going to be throwing the ball. I love them picking up Jamison Williams. That helps a lot. I, they don't have a very good quarterback, but they could actually have the number one pick next year with how bad this team is. I mean, even if you look at defense, nothing. Desmond King.
Malik Collins. Who was that? Oh, Roy Lopez. I was thinking Robin Lopez. I'm like, he's a basketball player. Uh, Jamison Williams. Yes, that would be that would be nice too. Um, they could have the number one pick next year. I forgot where I was going with that. I'd really like that pick. Um, I've been doing that a lot lately as well. I've been so far. I haven't been too, doing too much of this Drake, Drake London to the Jets, but I've been doing a lot of Garrett Wilson to Atlanta, and I've actually been doing London to, to the Texans. But either way, that's that's big. Jermaine Johnson, no. Do, you good back there? Devontae White. Trevor Penning, I saw a video the other day of him, and he was getting absolutely smacked. It was bad. He was just getting blown up. Um but the Saints, they need a tackle. If you go to their team, they need a tackle. Get off my screen, man. Left tackle, James Hurst. Yeah, Rams check. Let's look at his stuff. What are you doing back there? Stop eating stuff. Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah. That's their left tackle. I'm not saying that he's a left tackle, Trevor Penny, but uh fantasy or er, fantasy wise, that helps. Real football, I don't like that pick. Kenny Green, that helps out the Chargers. I'm just going to go pretty quick with these, with the linemen. Uh, Kenny Green, that really helps out. You look at their team. They're, they're getting so good. That division is so good. I can't believe that Derek Carr just got that contract. That's ridiculous. I was sitting here thinking, who, who am I looking up? Chargers. I was sitting here thinking that they were getting ready to try to trade him and get some draft picks and restart their rebuild but i guess not uh slater filer lindsley james and norton yeah that definitely helps i mean look at your you got herbert you got eckler i'm not a fan of joshua kelly burn me too many times i do like larry, larry roundtree uh palmer mike williams Keenan allen uh, another wide receiver in there later in the draft this is a seven round draft so i'll look that but I like Rashawn Slater. Matt Filer's good. Um, so, yeah, that definitely helps out. Trey McDuffie, Matt Corral. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like that. Jameis isn't that bad of a player. I just I don't understand why Jameis gets so much hate. He's better than Matt Corral. You're a Wow, why did I go to them? You're wasting that draft pick. Andy Dalton's better than Matt Corral. That's ridiculous. Yeah, fantasy-wise, I don't like that at all. If that's the case, I am selling everything I got. Um, and I have Michael Thomas. I'm trading him so fast. Trevor Penning and Matt Corral. All right, you do that. You're wasting a year because you're going to have Jameis starting. If not, you're going to have them fighting and getting talked about it every single week. You got Callaway Thomas, Trick on Smith, and Kamara. It's amazing. This team is gone. We could see an end. Wow. Oh, yeah, we still got to take some help. We're going to have three quarterbacks. I don't like that pick. Anyways, Jordan Davis. Huh. I keep putting Jordan Davis right there. That's just me. Andrew Booth, K. Traylon Burks. Yep, that's what I was waiting for. Green Bay. You know they're going to. They have to. 
one of their two picks, and I even was listening to PFF the other day, and they were talking about, oh, they should just use both uh, first-rounders on the wide receivers. Why not? In a crazy world like PFF, I love PFF. They get a little crazy sometimes. I think a little little bit of it's tongue-in-cheek, but, you know, you got Sammy Watkins, who you just signed. The Lizard, Alan Lazard. You got two Lizards. That's crazy. And Randall Cobb. Um, Amari Rogers. I like Amari Rogers. Um, your offensive line, it needs some help a little bit. You know, they're getting a little up there in age. Um, tight end. You got Big Bob Tunyon, Mercedes Lewis. Love Mercedes. <sighs> yeah. Get a wide receiver. I'd use the other pick on the offensive line. I haven't made it that far, but that's what I would do. You get Traylon Burks. He go right there. Go right there. He'd be a steal in the in fantasy football. Oh, that would be sexy. I might have to pick him up in the first. He wouldn't last to the second round. It'd be a trade back in the first, or you picking him in the first. Oof, I love that pick. I like that one a lot more. I like that one. That sucks too because I like Garrett. I like Drake. Don't want to go too far. Oh, but that would be that would be sexy. Whew. Ah, uh, right there. All right. Don't care. Zion Johnson. They need offensive line. Uh, this team. That Zeke signing or re-signing was so bad. You lost Cooper, who I know people are down on because he was worth what twenty million. Yeah, AJ Kirk said bye. I'm going to get that, too. But this is what you have. Yes, CD, you have Gallup. Oh, wow, they lost a lot. Yeah. Lamb, Gallup. Yeah, you got James Washington. That's good. I like James. Um, he's getting up there in age. Here's your tight end. Dalton Schultz. Jeremy Sprinkle. Oh, I forgot about Sprinkle. I forgot he was even in there. Um, yeah, they're going to need offensive line help. That's just a smart play. I know if I, if I am Jerry Jones and he's available, I'm picking him, but that's why I'm not the owner slash GM slash everything else for that team. Cause that'd be the sexy pick. Um, but no, that's, that would be a smart play. Let's see if Jerry Jones does it. Devin Lloyd, Tyler Smith. That's smart. They need help. They need help on. Oh, I almost went too far. Uh, they need help with the offensive line. They are. If the Jags go edge, there's some edge rushers in the uh, in the AFC South. They have Derrick Henry, who they need to protect as much as possible. Ryan Tannehill. I hate when people say that. Tannehill. Tannehill. He's getting up there in age. I saw some stuff today about AJ Brown wanting out. Do I think that's going to happen? No, but that's pretty. I saw one guy tweet uh, the Jaguars or what was it? AJ Brown is something about like trying so hard to get to the to get Jacksonville to trade with uh, for him, and I'm like, no, he's not. Nobody wants to come down here. I don't even want to play for us. <sighs> I would love to play for us. Um, so no, that would be a smart play. Be a smart pick for them. Nicobe Dean or a linebacker. Nicobe Dean, I have keep projecting him to go there, but hey. Chris Ola Oh no, they did! Oh, that's awesome. So you have Traylon Burks and Chris Olave going. Oh, that would be amazing. I would go crazy. Whew. That would be like the funnest preseason to watch. It's just the Packers, just watching them, just to see those two. Oh, that would be amazing. I would love that. No, that's crazy. We were just talking about... Oh, I was just talking about it. You guys were sitting there not listening. You just probably put this on whenever you leave so the dogs have something to watch. I understand. I'd do the same thing. Hey, I'd rather give my money to you guys. Or, I guess I'm not giving you money. I am watching you so you make money. Then, uh... I don't know, then cable. So, oh, that would be cool. Jalen Burks, Alave, 
Then you go in putting him at slot and Randall Cobb's old anyways. Oh, that would be awesome. Mari, he'd be the third wheel, but he'll be okay. George Carl Loftus. Interesting. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. Crackhead. Oh, no wide receivers whatsoever. Oh, I don't really see that very often. Hmm. I wonder how the Chiefs fans feel about that. Not that my friends will watch this, but... Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, team-wise, I guess that helps, but... I'm helping little Patrick out as much as possible right now after I just traded Tyreek trying to... Try to Hey, Patrick. You know I love you, buddy. Sorry I did that, but, you know, here's your fresh new toy. Nope. Not even Sky Moore. We don't even get Sky Moore. We just get Kyler Gordon and George Karloftis. Tell Lindenbaum. I keep seeing that. I don't think so. Um, that's not going to happen. I'm trying to find another player. Mm. Ajabo. You go there. I I think Tyler Lindenbaum is awesome, but you spent so much money in the off season. To help your offensive line. I mean, I guess you just go ahead and finish it. Just get the last remaining piece. I think Lindenbaum should go... Linderbaum. Should go in the... Uh, he should be one of the first offensive linemen taken. I know centers like to fall down the draft, but that's what I would do. He's a good player. He's probably the best player in this class outside of... Who did I say earlier? Amon Gardner? Is that who I said? Oh, Evan Neal. I think Evan Neal, Amon Gardner... Kyle Hamilton falling on the 12. That's amazing. Just goes to show you that centers and safeties don't matter anymore. <sighs> yeah. Kenny Pickett's not getting drafted there. I don't know why people keep drafting this. Um, Dan Campbell. I love Dan Campbell. The guy's smart. Why would he do this? He has no reason to do this. Look at all the quarterbacks who are getting ready to be free agents. Let's say the Lions win three games next year. They have a very high pick. They have draft picks that that they could trade up, and they get that first overall pick or the second overall pick. Let's say they win eight games this year. It means your team's starting to come together. Why would you ruin that by getting a quarterback there? If I'm them, I'm getting Daxton Hill. Or we'll come back to that. Even Christian Watson. Louis Seen. Somebody. I don't like that. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, let's say, let's just say for the sake of the video that it does happen. You have Jared Goff, who you're paying an arm and a leg, and you have Kenny Pickett. You know from the very beginning of the year, everybody's going to be calling for Kenny Pickett. Jared Goff's going to have to hear this all year long. They don't have the wide receivers. They do have the offensive line. They do have the running backs, but they don't have the wide receivers to do it. And... The defense isn't that good, so they're going to be throwing the ball a lot. Why would you get a quarterback killed or lose faith because he's doing exactly exactly what Trevor Lawrence did last year where the offensive line was decent, wide receiver sucked, and the defense was horrible. Everybody starts calling him a bust. That's exactly what you do here. I don't like that. David Ajabo, I really like that pick. I'd be okay with that. Um, Dexon Hill... Tackle, uh, they need, from what I've been hearing, um, there's some problems with uh, I can't think of his name. The tackle that they just drafted last year. Anyways, something about being overweight. Uh, uh, safety, corner, safety. Christian Watson, Chicago. Uh, yeah, please. Have you seen their team? Oh, I guess I gotta go back here. You see what to deal with? I got a cat behind me, I got a dog behind me. Moose. Who am I looking for? Chicago? NFC man. Alright. 
Yeah, uh, Looney Tooney Mooney and St. Brown, Equanimous. That's it. Byron Pringle's not very good. I had faith in him last year. He's not good. And then your running backs, David Montgomery, Cleo Herbert. I like that guy. And Darrington Evans. So Cole Komet. James O'Shag. O'Shag Hennessy. James O'Shag Hennessy. Uh yeah, you need a wide receiver. That's about all they have. <laughs> That's about all they have to pick. Uh if you're so if you're doing mock drafts, Chicago's picking a wide receiver. Um I don't think see this is what I was talking about. Justin Fields. He went through the same thing last year. Horrible wide receivers. Not a good O line. Just not smart. If you're a team, start you're if you're a team, you do what Detroit is doing right now. You're building your offensive line, then you go to the defense and you build them up, get your wide receivers, and they're trying with DJ Chark. And then you put the quarterback in where he steps in and everybody has faith in him that he is the last piece. Easy guys. I have a lisp and I hate it. I can hear it. It's probably like an hour and a half long video right now. I don't care. All right, so you got Justin Fields. You know what you see? Christian Watson. Falele. Yes. See, what did they have earlier? They have Malik Willis there. Were they 12? No. Nine. Malik Willis. Or, hear me out here. You get Derek Stingley, a Kyle Hamilton. All right, you get Kyle Hamilton. And then, you already have Baker Mayfield. Throw that in there. You get him for like, what, a fourth or a fifth round pick? Then you get Falele. It's easy. Drake Woolen, I like him. Shemek Bride, Indianapolis. Imagine that, them picking a tight end that nobody's, that didn't go to a big school. Uh, that's what I think of when I think of Indy. Tight end, that would be a good pick. Um, I don't think that'll be their first pick, though. Not at 42. Not with everything that they've been through. They're, yeah, that's not going to happen. Tanner would be so pissed. Right there, Tanner. You'd be so mad. Sam Howe to Atlanta. No. Why not work on the offensive line? Jahan Dotson, Cleveland. That'd be a good pick. Him and Deshaun. That'd be a smart pick. Fantasy-wise, that's something to look out for right there. Jahan Dotson to, to Cleveland. Um, go down here. George Pickens. I really like George Pickens. To Washington. Derek Stingley. Yeah, they need a quarterback first. Um, here they have Carson Wentz. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, if if George Pickens goes to Washington, I'm not picking him. Sorry, it'd be a waste of a pick. They need a quarterback. Sky Moore, New Orleans. I like that pick. Wow, another defense. Well, got Philly going defense, and then Jalen Tolbert. Um, I don't. I wouldn't really do anything with them this year. Pittsburgh, Desmond Ritter. I don't like that pick. Kenny Walker, Arizona. Kenneth Walker. I don't think that'll happen. Um, I could see him more. Right there, because I wish this showed contracts, because that would be tremendous. This guy, nope, nope, this guy is coming up under the last year of his contract. 
Oh, yeah, because I had highlighted them. I could see Kenny Walker going right there. Anyways, Arizona, I would like to pick. Um, that would be big. First running back off the board, fantasy-wise. That's always a big thing. But I I think it'll be him. I don't think that it'll be that team. Buffalo. That is the pick that you want to see. Actually, I'd rather have him right here. If Kenneth Walker goes to Buffalo, I am drafting him at number two in my draft. They need a running back. And if he is there, I like Brees Hall. Nothing against him. But if he's there, th this whoever goes to Buffalo will be hear you, who you hear about all offseason. Which running back? I like that pick. Colin Brisker, I love him. Wish the Jacks would get him. John Mechie. I don't know if he's got it. You have to have somebody that's... I don't know how smart he is. You got to have somebody with... And that's not knocking him. I, I truly do not know how smart he is. Uh, you have to have somebody that knows... Patrick Mahomes likes to scramble. He likes to run around in circles. And just throw the ball. Like Remember that old game? Was it 500? That's what he does. He spins in a circle and he yells 500 and throws the ball. And the first person that catches it, when they win. I don't know if John Mechie plays that game. I hope this isn't too loud. It's been a while. All right. I like that. Actually, this draft isn't looking too bad, bad for the Jags. You get a tackle. You get a guard. And you get an edge rusher. Isaiah Spiller, Houston. God, that's all I need is another running back. They're not drafting a running back. I don't like that pick at all. I don't think they would do that. Isaiah Likely. If he did that, he'd be our he'd be right under Dan Arnold. We need a tight end that can do everything. I would much rather have Greg Dolchich or who they have Indy getting. Trey McBride. Love to have him. Because all we have are wide receivers and just slightly bigger bodies. Um so, yeah, he would get a lot of playing time. That's something to look for in fantasy-wise. Uh, rookie, tight end. You know, they, they usually don't produce outside of Kyle Pitts for the first couple of years, but he'd get a lot of playing time just because we don't have anything. Not saying he'll be good, but he'll get playing time. Uh, so he could get some of those passes. Denver gets a tight end. I like that. Good blocking tight end. Don't know who that is. Calvin Austin, another wide receiver to Pittsburgh. I like that he's quick. I still don't have a quarterback. And no, I don't think who they have, Desmond Ritter going to them. That'd be horrible. Arizona. Alec Pierce, that'd be a good one in Dallas. With Dak. Dak needs to win. Dak needs to throw. He needs to he needs to have a good year. That'd be a good pick, you know, late in drafts. David Bell, Tennessee, same thing. They're going to have to throw the ball. I know they have Derrick Henry. We talked about this earlier. I think they had him taken off with the Blyman to help out Derrick Henry and Tann Tannehill. Uh, David Bell would really work. Uh, Cade Otten. Almost done, guys. Oh, there's their, their center. It's amazing. A couple months ago, they had Linderbaum going there to Philadelphia in the first round. How they have him pick in the third round. Oh, who do we pick with the uh, 70? Oh, yeah, Isaiah Lockley. Duh. I just talked about that. Damian Pierce, Rams. I like Damian Pierce. I don't think he'll get much playing time, but I do like him. Hey, we got a linebacker. Um, Houston, another wide receiver. What's they need? Kyron Williams. I like Kyron. Seattle. I was talking earlier. They don't really have any running backs. He could work his, his way up pretty quick. 
uh, especially with the injuries there. If he does get drafted, let's go back and look. If you look at who are we looking at? Sorry, Seattle. My head hurts from talking. I don't ever talk this much. I feel like I'm on the phone. I, I work in a. I answer phones all day. It's great fun. Seattle. Um, Chris Carson, injury prone. Rashad Penny, injury prone. DJ Dallas is DJ Dallas. And Travis Homer likes donuts. So, he could work himself up pretty quick. That's that's an, a player to keep an eye on. Fourth round, that's still still good uh, draft capital. Um, later in the draft, I would definitely be trying to get Kyron Williams. And Giants... Not this year. Maybe next year. Uh, DT corner. Jake Ferguson. Wow, he's falling down. Down all the way there. James Cook. Everybody keeps talking about how he is eight-tenths of his brother. Come on, man. Go New Orleans, according to this. Oh, look at that. They get tight end. Um, James Cook, go to New Orleans. I don't even know who their backup is this year. I am all over this thing. Who am I looking for? NFC New Orleans. And oh good, they still got Mark. Oh, he go back? Oh, that's nice. I like that. Bring him back to the good old days. These two just running around, having fun, scoring touchdowns. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Um getting older. Getting to that point in their career where they start getting a little bit of a drop off. He is 26. 28 years old is the drop off age. I uh, still not a fan of that. <clears throat> New England, wide receiver. Rashad White, Tampa Bay. That'd be a good pick. Uh, as much as I like... My cat is trying to play the piano. This is what I put up with all day long when I'm at home. Who am I looking at? New Orleans. And he doesn't listen. No, I'm not looking up New Orleans. Who am I looking up? Tampa Bay. Leonard Fournette. Geo, I like Keyshawn Vaughn. He's not doing anything there. I don't like that. I wish they just cut him. Which they they probably would if they draft Rashad White. They'll try. They'll cut uh, Keyshawn Vaughn, and I still think he's a good player. He hasn't done much, but I like him. Uh, Nailed to San Francisco. Carson Strong to Carolina. Yeah, that'd be a starting quarterback. Justin Ross, wide receiver, Baltimore. They do need wide receivers. And I'm trying to show you who I think I really like. Not this guy, but Carolina, running back. They. It's about that time. Christian McCaffrey, Samir White, Atlanta. They need a running back. Ooh, I like this. I like Charleston Rambo. I have him on my uh, Madden team. I like Charleston. I think he's a good player. So, so I love Jacksonville's draft in this. Uh, I can't say that about many other teams, but I want to see where they have my boy, who I absolutely love. Not this guy, though. Jets, running back. That's all I need is another running back. They already have four. Um, a night, San Francisco. Taquan Thornton, Detroit. Like I said, they need wide receivers. I just thought it would be earlier in the draft. Hey, Missouri State. Dub Bears. Bear down. And it's on Haskins, Jacksonville. I don't like that. And here's why. Did they seriously not have him getting drafted? No way. 
Tyron Johnson, Rock Chalk. They don't have Tyler. Oh, there he is, Tyler Beatty. Seventh round. I like him. He's like a. He's like Geo. I think he's a good player. Uh, Hassan Haskins going to Jacksonville. Running back. This is what I was talking about earlier. I don't think James Robinson is going to be 100% at all this year. They're going to need another running back. I I don't think that they're going to draft one. I think they'll bring in one of the older vets that aren't on contract anywhere. Um, who's a guy that we keep bringing back? can't think of his name. Uh, Polk Buffalo. This is where you start to get down to it. It's like that. Eh. Quarterbacks. Well, is, it, is it Zap? Zape? Zappy? Washington? Yeah, that's going to solve everything. And one. This is where Jacksonville has all their six rounders. They have like four of them. Where did I have? Where did they have? Go to Wellaby. What did they have? What a cool name. Slade Bolden. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, the seventh round. Did they seriously have him in the seventh round? I don't know if it's been me just talking about nothing while I go through this. I was just curious. Oh, there he is. Rams. That's what we were talking about. <sighs> I like him. Like I said, he's like a Geo, Geo, uh, Giovanni Bernard. He's not going to get you a thousand yards, but he's going to catch out of the backfield. So you play in a half point PPR like we do. That really helps. Um, so I do like this. Uh, I, I like Tyler Beatty. I think he's really good for fantasy, especially in our league. Or if you're in a full point PPR, it's somebody that you literally don't have to draft. You can just pick him off off the waiver wire after the draft. So yeah, I'm done. I think this has been a long enough video. All right. Well, thank you guys. I'm getting back into fantasy football podcast and which i'm going to be starting here shortly and back into my youtube channel a lot more i finally got my computer fixed like i said i was going through a, a phase where this is literally me making a video i would make the video as quickly as possible and then shut my whole computer down and charge it and then i would open it back up and i'd edit as quick as possible then i'd shut my computer down and put it back on the charger and then i'd open it up and I would click submit over to YouTube. And then after it submitted, it would already be at like 10%. And I'd shut my computer down and I'd charge it. It would literally take me a 20 minute video would take me three or four hours to make. So now that I finally got my computer working, I have my headset. I have my mouse that works. My camera that I finally got put on my computer. I have a microphone, so I'm good. I got everything I need. I got my Xbox hooked up to my computer. I can start streaming. I can start streaming like fantasy and just, and not fantasy, um, streaming NFL and Madden is the word I'm looking for. I start streaming Madden. That's awesome. I'm so excited. All right. So my goal, and I'm going to tell you guys this now, my goal is just sit here and just talk fantasy football and at a certain point, get to a point where I can have people just commenting and answering and just having a conversation with people. And then, you know, turn this video on and leave and let your dogs and cats watch this so I can get more views and likes and doing all that stuff. And then I'm going to get a podcast going. And then I'm going to I'm gonna go buy a shirt press. And I'm going to start making merchandise. And I'm just going to, like, just do random things. Like... My dog or my cat playing on the piano. Just take a picture of that and just put that on a shirt. I'd wear that. I wear random stuff. But, again, my name is TG13. And thank you. You probably didn't make it all the way through this video because there's a bunch of just talking. But I am so happy. You have no idea how happy I am to finally be able to do this again. I hope everybody has a good rest of the night. I know it's pretty late. It's getting dark outside. Um, the NFL draft is next Thursday. 
I did. I want to do a mock draft. I know it's not fantasy, but I want to do a mock draft. So I'll do that later this week. I'll do a first round mock. That's all I'm going to do. And then, uh, football season's almost here. The NFL draft is Thursday. That's huge. All right. You guys have a good night. I'll see you later. My Alexa is talking.